What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, I'm gonna check out Rhea Ripley breaking the internet WWE WrestleMania twist endings, and Goldberg's son is uh wrestling now. This is gonna be a very interesting one. If you haven't seen the Rhea Ripley clip that's been circulating all over social media right now, you're probably gonna enjoy what you see, especially if you're a Rhea Ripley fan. It, 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 Y'all were sending it to me. It's on my Twitter right now. It's all over the place. It's it's hilarious to see so much thirst in uh, the comment section. So this is going to be a very interesting one. I know you guys are going to like this Rhea Ripley clip just off the principle that it's Rhea Ripley and her breaking the internet for her wrestling ability. Should be a good one. Appreciate all love and support. Let's get right into this video. Oh, man. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here. Back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including is a big twist coming at WrestleMania 40? An active WWE star takes on a new role? A legendary team leaving TNA? Is Goldberg's son wrestling? Rhea Ripley tributes Rikishi in a cheeky way? And much Not more. Be sure to subscribe way. and hit that notification <laughs> bell for daily wrestling videos. And Very follow us cheeky. on Facebook for exclusive <laughs> lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania Shorts. And now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first we look at could there be a big twist at WrestleMania 40? On top of today's news is an interesting comment from Rikishi who shared his perfect outcome for the Jimmy vs. Jay showdown at WrestleMania 40 in two weeks. Speaking on his podcast, the father of Jimmy and Jay stated that the highly anticipated showdown should finish with both men rejoicing and actually rekindling their relationship. I could only pray for our father they go out there, perform and be able to walk out there and walk back. I would love to see them walk back together. I would love to see my boys at WrestleMania 40 walk back together holding hands so that story can close. Whilst it's incredibly wholesome that Rikishi sees this as the perfect finish, this isn't far off from what many fans have been pitching on social media. Mm. Seeing the Usos embrace following the match would receive an earth-shattering ovation. The yeah. Usos reforming on the grandest stage would also add an extra layer of intrigue and interest to the Roman Reigns vs Cody Rhodes Night 2 main yes. event. Whilst Rikishi seems incredibly excited for the Uso vs Uso match, he does have some concerns. Rikishi's concern mainly comes down to time constraints and he hopes that WWE mm -hmm. give the match efficient time on the card. I'm hoping that they don't mess with the boys' time because everybody tries to get in. If you're on before me and you know you got 10 minutes and this is the biggest show on the earth and your ass gotta go out there and go 13 minutes, now you're plugged into my 3 minutes. Mm. Rikishi may have reason to be concerned as there's been a trend in past WrestleMania events that matches have been cut for time. Yeah. Thankfully, due to WrestleMania now being a two-night event, WWE should be able to time the show more efficiently so every match on the card should be given enough time. Do you think there should be a big twist and the Usos actually reform back together at WrestleMania 40? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, I'm okay with that. The only way that I think storyline-wise you do that, you would have Jay lose. You would have Jay lose. Because Jay, in my opinion, I feel like he can take a loss. I feel like Jay Uso can take a loss in this particular situation. If you're going to have them come back together, I would have Jay lose and Jimmy, you know, he, you know, he's, he's excited and all this other stuff, but he sees his brother on the mat and he picks him up. You know what I'm saying? I would have Jimmy win the match because Jimmy could use a win. He's been treated as a JAG as a joke for a while. Jimmy could use that win. If you're going to have them come together, then Jimmy wins. If you don't, then you would have Jay win. And then Jimmy gets kicked out the bloodline. I mean, you can have him get kicked out the bloodline regardless if he aligns himself with Jay, but it's different now. It's a different context behind it. So I would, I like that idea. I just would have Jimmy win the match because Jimmy can take that win. He needs a win like that. And then have them come together. And then you can, you know, create a storyline with what Roman's going to say about this. So I think that would be pretty interesting. An active WWE star takes on new role? A wrestlers becoming producers or agents is traditionally a role that wrestlers take on upon retirement. However, this isn't the case when it comes to Pete Dunne, who worked this week this. as a producer for the WWE speed tapings. 
This report comes from Fightful Select who reported WWE Speed is still putting matches in the can for their eventual debut. And there's an interesting note on the March 22nd tapings. Longtime WWE talent Pete Dunne was listed internally as a producer for both Speed matches. He was also listed solo and without co-producer. We've not seen his name pop up on many lists lately. The 30-year-old is still active in the ring as a member of the new Catch Republic. We'll look into this and see if he's planned to produce more or if That's it's an cool. experiment with a new program. Let's go. This new role for Dunn is a huge nod of approval from Triple H. The game has always been a big fan of Dunn, and for Triple H to give a wrestler that is younger than most of the roster, this yeah. is a huge sign that Triple H sees him taking on more responsibility moving forward. Next up, who should- Which is dope, man. I love to see that because people don't realize sometimes it's not about what you do on camera. Sometimes it's what you do behind the scenes that can definitely help, uh, help your stock rise within the company as well. So. I love to see that, man. Shout out to P. Dunn. Should induct Paul Heyman into the Hall of Fame. A Paul Heyman will take his rightful place in the WWE Hall of Fame in two weeks, and there have been rampant discussions amongst fans surrounding who will induct Heyman. Heyman's associate, Roman Reigns, discussed Heyman's upcoming induction during an appearance on the Pat McAfee show, and Reigns stated that the individual who inducts Heyman needs to be authentic. Whoever does it, they need to be authentic. They need to tell their story of Paul. There's going to be a lot of facts in history that you can lay down with the wise man all the way from the beginnings with a giant phone to being the advocate mm -hmm. to being my special counsel. Whoever does it just needs to be themselves and tell the truth. Numerous names have been thrown around to induct Heyman ranging from Reigns to CM Punk. Ultimately, Reigns is right. Whoever delivers the important induction speech needs to deliver it with authenticity. Mm -hmm. Who do you think should induct Heyman into the Hall of Fame? Let us know in the comments down below. It would have been most likely probably, probably Brock. Granted, I don't know how comfortable. I mean, he's gotten a lot more comfortable on talking on the microphone. It probably would have been Brock, to be honest with you. But obviously, we know what's going on with that situation. So, I don't know. It would be interesting if it was CM Punk. I like that. I think that would be interesting. But, I don't know. Y'all Y'all let me know down below. Who do y'all think would be the right person to end up Paul Heyman into the Hall of Fame? Next up, WWE releasing new Cody Rhodes documentary. A Cody Rhodes documentary titled American Nightmare Becoming Cody Rhodes received widespread praise and it turns out that WWE have been filming part two. According to Sean Ross Sapp, during a recent Fightful Q&A, WWE even filmed Rhodes backstage when he infamously gave away his WrestleMania 40 spot to The Rock. Next up, a legendary Damn. tag team leaving TNA. Well, hopefully the documentary ends with this motherfucking winning, bro. Please. <laughs> Hey, the Motor City Machine Guns are arguably the most decorated tag team in TNA history, but unfortunately it looks like their run in the company has come to an end. According to PW Insider, Saturday night's taping in Philadelphia marked the final TNA performance of Alex Shelley and Chris Sabin. PW Insider also states that TNA held an emotional backstage send-off for the celebrated duo, whose contracts are up on April 1st. Oh, wow. It's unknown what the duo have planned for the future, yet it was reported that Shelley filed to trademark the Motor City Machine Gun's name, which heavily implies that the two are looking to continue wrestling in yeah. another promotion. Next up is Goldberg's son wrestling. And most WWE fans know Goldberg's son Gage for his numerous appearances in the company, mm -hmm. most notably at the 2016 Survivor <laughs> Series and SummerSlam in 2021. In a recent interview, the Hall of Famer discussed whether he wants Gage to enter the squared circle. Speaking on the Nothing Left Unsaid podcast, Goldberg had a firm stance on the matter and he states that he hopes that Gage has no interest in becoming a wrestler. I sure hope not. If there is wrestling in his future, I have to be his agent. Nobody's gonna like that. The fact is, yes, it is nice to have that as a feather in your cap, something you can fall back on. It's not as if his dad was a no-name goofy wrestler who didn't make an impact. My son wants to be the antithesis of me. Next up, a WWE star now, Here's the thing. If his son decides to be a wrestler, you know, obviously, you know, being the son of Goldberg is going to probably bring a lot of attention to you. And, you know, if that's the path that he decides to do, awesome. But I do want to make a comment on Goldberg's comment. I've been seeing you guys send it to me about Oscar breaking his streak and how he felt a type of way, some type of way about that. I'm going to keep it a buck. Goldberg worked for the time period that he was in, you know, that, that 90s era. But let's be honest, Goldberg is only a few moves and that's it. That's how he was booked. That's how he was presented. That's it. Oscar can actually go in the ring. <clears throat> I don't. I don't even see why he would even feel some type of way because it's 
she's legit. She can go in the ring. There's nothing wrong with, you know, his record being broken. And I think he felt some, I think he was taking it as if WWE was trying to, you know, was trying to mess with him, trying to, you know, irritate him or whatever. I'm like, bro, come on, man. And then I think he had said something about everyone's using the spear. Like it was like personal jab. Everybody, people have been using the spears for a long time. What are we talking about? I don't know. I don't know. If his son decides to wrestle, I hope he doesn't have that huge ego like his dad does. Because that, that could be detrimental to his future, man. So pushing for WrestleMania main event. Whilst the two respective WrestleMania main events are locked in, this isn't stopping Royal Rumble winner Bailey from vocalizing that this. she still firmly believes that a match versus Io Sky warrants the WrestleMania main event. Bailey is also of the belief that the Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch match is strong enough to main event night one, whilst her match versus Sky warrants the prestigious night two spot. Speaking with Alex McCarthy from Mail Online, Bailey stated, "This year is mine and Io's year. This year has been the role models year, starting the Royal Rumble. Okay, and I've been doing this for a long time, and I've been fighting for this for a long time. Becky's at a main event spot, so it's time for the role model, Ding Dong, Hello Bailey, to take this main event spot." You guys can have the first night and I'll take the second night. You know, we can do that. You never had two women main event both shows at WrestleMania. Why can't it be this year? It's certainly understandable why the tag team match is main event night one. Come After on, all, baby. it's unlikely that a match with The Rock would be Come in on. any other position on the card. Nevertheless, it's somewhat of a shame that Bailey vs. Sky isn't being placed in a main event slot as the build-up to the championship showdown has been superb and both women have been delivering some of their finest work. What do you think? Should Bailey main event either night one or night two? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up. Yes. If The Rock wasn't involved, yes. Well, I made a video about this. Sure. Yes. But most likely, now that The Rock is going to be involved in both nights, no. Her saying that both the women should main event both nights in a perfect world, possibly. But we're not living in a perfect world. The Rock is literally going to be there for both nights. This tag match is literally one of the biggest tag matches of all time. I'm sorry. I, and I love Bailey, and I, I agree with her. The story has been there. But if The Rock wasn't involved, she probably would main event night one. And I don't think anyone would have a problem with that. But because The Rock is involved, <clears throat> and this is her opinion. Of course, she's going to feel this way, and she has every right to. So I'm not disagreeing with her, but the whole part of, both women matches main event that wasn't gonna happen roman I mean, come on bro roman and cody too that yeah that was gonna that was definitely gonna happen again roman's always gonna main event night too i'm sorry that's just what it is until he loses the championship that 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 wasn't gonna change so i i appreciate her having her opinion and and her viewpoint on it but yeah, she she not she'll be the probably the co main event, but she definitely not gonna be the main event. So that's that's just the unfortunate reality of the situation. CM Punk teasing exciting WrestleMania 40 news. Although CM Punk is still injured, he's still expected to have a role of some kind at WrestleMania Please. 40 in two weeks. This weekend, the former WWE champion took to Instagram to show photos of a range of attires from over the years, and Punk promised something special for the fans attending WrestleMania. Additionally, Punk also posted a picture of him and Randy Orton from their 2011 feud and stated that he and Orton filmed something that fans will love. There's been speculation that this could be a WWE playback video where wrestlers sit down and dissect a past matchup. The two legends had numerous matches, including a matchup WrestleMania 27, so this is likely what Punk is referring to. Mm. Next up, Rhea Ripley pays tribute to Rick. I just hope. I don't know. I, I honestly. I don't think they need to put him in the match with Drew and Seth as the guest referee. I don't know. Maybe commentary. But he will. He should be a part of this year's WrestleMania. I know people are thinking that, but I was like, nah. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Would I have a problem if they did it? No, but I, I, I think that hasn't been built up enough yet. We're only two weeks away. Yeah, you could put him in there. But I think what, they, what Seth and Drew got right now is fine. So, but I, I would like him to be a part of WrestleMania. So, should be very interesting to see how that will play out. Kishi and breaks the internet. Oh boy. Rhea Ripley has quickly become the queen of viral wrestling clips. And in her latest antics, are already becoming the talk of the wrestling world. At yesterday's yep. live event in Springfield, Ripley ex exposed her cheeks and delivered a stink face to Nia Jax in the style of Rikishi. The spot in question received a huge ovation from the audience. Oh, and I Ripley bet. would go on to retain her title in the match, which also featured Shayna Baszler. 
And if you look on X, that's literally all everybody is posting. And finally, Kenny Omega <laughs> shoots on. Oh, man. Oh, man. The thirst online right now is ridiculous, man. Oh, bro. <laughs> I think most people are, are going to come to this video just to see what Rhea did. <laughs> oh, man. Rhea has has the the wrestling world at the palm of her hand just crazy i'm that's all i'm gonna say <clears throat> i'm gonna let y'all comment down it should have been me and everything else that you want to say i'm just here to present the information y'all do with the information what you will on star ratings our final story today takes a look at recent comments from aew star kenny omega who had a bold opinion on the always controversial star ratings for matches Speaking on his Twitch channel, the decorated wrestler revealed that 5 star ratings shouldn't just be handed out like candy. Did it start a movement? Did it continue a movement? Was it something that became something that sort of etched in the annals of history for like all time? I believe that's what an actual 5 star match should accomplish. You shouldn't just hand them out like candy. It shouldn't be because the moves look good. It should be because the moves look like they hurt. It's a perfect blend of everything that you try to do and accomplish as a pro wrestler and that's without exposing the trade secrets. Also during that Twitch stream, Omega had endless amount of praise for Kurt Angle and went as far as calling the WWE Hall of Famer his favorite wrestler of all time. Wow. What do you guys think of Omega's comments? I want to see what Jim Cornette has to say about that. Holy! I definitely got to see what Jim Cornette has to say about that. Wow! That's crazy. But I agree with him, man. Like I don't care about the five-star ratings and stuff like that. I agree to his point. It got to be something that will stand the test of time. A match that you can just be like, you can always go back and watch. And it was just iconic and legendary. And and the emotion is there. The passion is there. The intensity is there. The storyline is there. The atmosphere is there. Everything aligns up for a an experience that you'll never forget. And I think that should be the qualification of a five-star match. Granted, everyone's entitled to their own opinion so there's no wrong or right answer you know ultimately but i definitely do agree with kenny omega there and the fact that he you know showed kurt angle the the proper love as anyone should is pretty awesome so i definitely got to see what jim Cornette has to say because i know that that's going to be very interesting because he doesn't like kenny omega but it's gonna be very interesting to see what he has to say about that but comment down below let me know how many of y'all enjoyed that Rhea Ripley clip? Just be honest. Just let me know. I know. I know all of you did. Most of you did. Maybe not all of you. Maybe some of y'all have self-control. But most of you, most of you watched that clip multiple times, huh? I, it's okay. It's okay, man. I'm not gonna, I'm not here to judge you. Do your thing. But I appreciate how I love sport. Road to 150K. And I'm still getting this YouTube wrestling champion world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.